today's featured shrub is Nutka rose, also known as Rosa nicana. In British Columbia, there are several roses, so we're going to talk about some of the ways to differentiate roses. Rosa nicana can grow up to two meters tall, and it tends to occur in um, floodplain areas or along stream banks um, or very disturbed sites. It grows from stout rhizomes. So let's have a look here. So I dug this up. It was coming from the, the main mother's plant and, and there's a new shoot coming up from, from below ground. The way to differentiate roses or um, to identify them to begin with is that they have compound leaves. So looking at this leaf here, you'll see that this is one leaf made up of seven leaflets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Sometimes it may have five, and some of the other roses will have more. The other distinctive way to differentiate it from other roses are that the, the sort of the tips of the leaflets are a little bit more rounded. Although they have these serrations, notice how the tips here kind of have a rounded look to them. The other key feature with Rosa Nicana is that it has these paired thorns at the nodes. And the thorns are quite straight and stiff and sometimes curved a little bit but you won't find between the nodes any um, other prickles generally, or thorns. The other key feature with Rosa Nicana is its flowers. So roses or rosaceae, anything from any plant from the rose family will have petals in five, but Rose Nicana, the petals are about two to four centimeters long versus some of our other native roses, the petals are much smaller. Lastly, Late in the season, you'll come across the rose hips. And the rose hips of Rosa Nicana have sepals that remain on them, which is in contrast to bald hip rose, which does not have any. So those are some of the key features. This is once again Rosa Nicana, also known as Nuka Rose. Thank the plant, and I thank you for watching this video. And if you like the work that we're doing, please like and subscribe below.